All of us, every American, I feel, owes unions for so many of the protections and standards that we all enjoy today. It's unions that have built and continue to build a strong middle class in our state and across the country, unions who won American safety in the workplace, and unions who won civil rights protections for all of us. They brought us Medicare and Social Security, also brought us the weekend. For too long, we know leaders in Washington have failed to stand up for workers, especially during this unprecedented public health and economic crisis. And as we go through this crisis, we need to think about how we're going to be rebuilding our economy and reinventing it for the future. Now, as a former astronaut and Navy veteran, I know how important it is to have, to have somebody invest their time into you, ensuring that you have the training and skills to succeed. You know, as a pilot and the commander of the space shuttle, uh, I spent, you know, thousands of hours in space, 53 days in space, and I had to rely on a vehicle that was not only manufactured, but maintained and prepared for launch with strong union labor. This, this is concerning. Over the last couple of decades, the federal government has drastically cut career and technical education funding. And we got to move that in the other direction and invest in career and technical education. And I'm going to try to bring my experiences as, as a son of two cops, two union members, and someone who has worked with all kinds of people to accomplish difficult missions and solve some really hard problems. And I'm really proud to be working alongside all of you to ensure that we rebuild this economy to make sure that Arizona workers are getting their fair share. So stay safe, everybody. Thank you.